بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أحمده وصلي على رسول الكريم جاء الحق وذهك الباطل إن الباطل كان زهوقا Today I'm going to share something ridiculous, something funny, something fishy, something smelly. I mean, it just can't get worse than this. I mean, I thought, you know, maybe they think we're a fool. And they are a fool that thinks that they're talking to fools. Like, they're going to show anything to the world, to the United Nations, to the world, and no one's going to question the stupidity of what they're saying. So, you know, supposedly a Shifa hospital, Shifa hospital is the headquarters, or if not the headquarters, a headquarter of Hamas activity. Okay, so they finally brought us evidence, ladies and gentlemen, before we see this evidence and before we have a laugh, because there's something I got to show you that is just incredibly ridiculous. Utterly, 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 it shows they are whacked. I don't know when they were planning this video. Maybe they were drunk. I can't say anything, but I can only say I really hope the United Nations and the world and all the leaders of the world are not so stupid to fall for such a mediocre, low-level evidence, low-level storyline that they're going to present to you in this video. But before we do that, I want you to understand what they said about Ashifa hospital being a major place of Hamas operations after we discuss after you listen to that video then I'm going to show you this video of this uh, gentleman who is presenting the evidences the unequivocal absolutely hundred percent true unquestionable you know I think they think that as long as we do something the world has to shut up and agree to it Right, and then the, they have they they set up all the world leaders to defend them based upon their weak uh, evidences, and so they're putting themselves and they're putting the whole world, all the world leaders, in a very bad place. Because, and what's funnier is that supposedly America, the United States, also said a Shifa hospital is being used for activities. Okay. Well, let's look at these grand evidences that they have produced. But before that, before we have our, like, you can say, smile, joke, uh, laugh uh, at their utter, utter, utter stupidity. Before that, I want you to first see what they say about Ashifa Hospital so that you can see the hypocrisy, the lie, the deceit, the clear deceit. Hamas is operating its command and control positions beneath hospitals, and specifically in the main and the largest hospital in Gaza, the Al Shifa Hospital, which is a really substantial you know, hub for health. And unfortunately, what we found is that they connected their hospitals with a net network of tunnels. Um, so this is, you know, they're they're putting the subliminal pictures that they've made as if they're absolutely true. Well, we're going to see if this is true. We're going to see the hub as he said, the headquarters, as he said, of Hamas activities. Okay, we're going to see this. Uh, and that's where they're conducting their operation. That's where they're operating to attack. Okay, so notice how it says, look at this, Hamas underground complex, Hamas underground ground complex, Hamas underground complex. Okay. But now you have said to the world, you have absolutely clear evidence that this is true. So now let us proceed to see your evidence. Let us examine this and let us see the truth. So we're inside the MRI center of the Shifa Hospital. Israeli troops breached here. Okay. So they are at the MRI center of a Shifa Hospital. It's going to be very important to know this. The MRI center of Shifa Hospital. And they, he said, we have breached this area. And they have breached this. It's been a few hours. Okay, so just watch. A few hours ago, and we have cleared the area. Make sure they cleared the area, blindfolded the people, stripped the people, and they have 
now collected the evidence they need. And by the way, as you're listening to this, you can hear the gunfire in the background, which can tell you the fighting is still going on around. So they are now breached this place. Okay. And uh, I'm going to tell you something about why they couldn't even, if this was a really a Hamas place, the type of evidence they need to provide. Okay. The I hope people are intelligent enough in the United Nations and other places in the world to know what is the difference between a, a, a utter lie and utter deception and what is true. Look, if you're going to present to me, obviously I'm biased, right? So if you're going to present to me evidence, the evidence has to be such that it cannot be planted there. What would be such evidence? Dead bodies. If you made a breach, then I would assume that they're bullets because this is a hub of Hamas activity. There's no way you're going to enter the hub of Hamas activity and not have confrontation. And so you would show us the bullets. You would show us the dead bodies. You would show us the blood. You would show us the, 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 the difficulty that your troops went through to, to get this amazing spot, the hard work that was put in to breach the Shifa hospital and all the enemies that you killed. At least something. But evidence has to be such that you can't make a story out of it. It has to be such that cannot be questioned. It cannot be just planted there. And there has to be plenty of it. Why? See, this is where you got stuck. Because after this video, no matter what other video, because you're going to realize very soon how stupid of what you just did. Okay? After this video, whatever video you say or make or bring to the, to the forefront is going to be useless because this video has already been made and it puts everything into question mark. See, one of the questions you have to ask yourself is, okay, I see no bullets. I see no dead bodies. So what? You just breached this a few hours ago. So you cleaned the whole hospital? Okay. Let's say you know. Okay. Okay. You know. Now... They're underground tunnels, right? That's what they're saying, the underground tunnels. So if you breach from one direction, you can't take a video until you are sure you've cleared everything to the other end. Because otherwise, the people from the other side will come and they could attack you. So if you breached from one side and they're underground tunnels, you don't know when they'll pop out and start shooting. So now, tell me this. You're in the basement of uh, Ashifa Hospital in the MRI section in the basement and there should be tunnels there that you should be able to show because that can't be planted you see dead bodies can't be planted the bullets in the windows and stuff cannot be planted well they can but at least it's something but what are you going you're going to show me like something really big right I mean like like concrete evidence that cannot be planted but I question, how can you take this video knowing that there are enemies on the other side? They can just pop out of these tunnels and start shooting. You've only been there for a few few hours and people are still shooting outside. So if people are shooting outside your building and you know that there are tunnels under this building and you just breached the MRI section in the basement that is one of the main sections, okay, now that you breached it, you need to, like, you can't take videos, okay? Because, like, I would fire the person who would take videos in a situation like that because the enemies can come from the other side and start shooting. And apparently there's no one there with you except one other person in the cameraman. So it doesn't make sense to me just to start off. But this is not where the funny part is. The funny part is going to come. You're going to see the absolute hilariously big mistake. Big, big mistake. Big, big, big mistake. But no, like right now you haven't seen the video. So let's assume that uh, this is, you know, this is all credible. So let's just see what is the evidences they have. Show that it's safe and a few of the most interesting things. Now notice, few of the most interesting things. Few of the most interesting things. He's going to present to you three big evidences. One of them is not even, well, it's just whatever. That we have found totally confirmed without any doubt. Okay, few of the evidences 
And then he says, totally confirmed, this is only the tip of the iceberg. Meaning they're going to make more videos trying to prove to you. But this video alone is enough, absolutely enough, 100% enough to question everything else that they're going to throw at you. Because even the fact that they're taking videos right now, with saying that there are all these basements and everything under the hospital, I don't know how they're doing it. it must be an amazing team. That Hamas systematically uses hospitals in their military. Oh, keep this in mind. Systematically. Systematically. So if there's such systematic processes in place, such systems are in place, then we should see some big systems there, right? I mean, like, you'll see what I mean in a second. I mean, it cannot be possible. I mean, could it be possible that if they're going to show you evidence, it's going to look like it's all about one man? Like, maybe Hamas is just one man. I'm not joking. Hamas is just one person. They're going to they're gonna show you the evidence to prove that it's all about one person. Okay? Let me just share with you what I mean by that in a second. Okay? Military operations in violation of international law. And what we have found, I think, is only... The and as you can see, there's no sign of bullets. So they must be like... They must be able to do magic or something, right? It's like some sort of superhero that did something and just took all their weapons. And then they didn't even have dead bodies. They just like made them vanish. Boom. Like they're dead. Okay. There's no, there's no sign of war or breach. Like he said, we breached. There's no sign of breach. And his first evidence is a camera that's covered. Okay. Now, even that, you'll see the contradiction in that in just one second. Because why do you have cameras that are covered, right? Why would somebody, okay, have cameras that are covered? So they would have cameras that are covered so other people can't see what's going on, right? Okay, so just keep that in mind. Cameras are covered so that other people can't tell what is going on. Okay, I got that. The tip of the iceberg. Let me show you a few examples. Security cameras have been obstructed. All of the security cameras are uh, covered. Uh, this isn't the only one. You'll see the rest of them here. I don't know when it was used the last time, but it is definitely an MRI machine. And if you follow me behind the MRI machine, I'll show you what our troops exposed just minutes ago. The troops exposed just minutes ago. So now this is the big discovery that proves this is Hamas's headquarters. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the big evidence that they want to give to the United Nations. This is the big evidence that they want to expose to the world. They are fools thinking everyone else is a fool. What is the proof, Mr. Uh, Know-it-all? Okay, what is the proof? You're going to really give me a strong proof, right? I mean, like, I didn't see bullets. I didn't see bodies. I didn't see any signs of any war. I didn't really see any signs of a breach, but I'm going to go with you because now the few things, you remember, the first was the security camera. So they covered the security cameras. So no one will know what they're really doing down there in the basement. Okay, let's suppose I buy this. Now he's going to give you the real, the second one has to prove without the shadow of a doubt that there is a hub of activity of Hamas in this area. Okay. And this is it. What is it? He's pointing to it. Just watch now. In military terms, this is a grab bag. Grab and go of a Hamas combatant. In military terms, brothers and sisters, this is it. This is the evidence. This is the conclusive thing that leaves the whole world ashamed of thinking that you know, Israel is doing something wrong and bombarding the hospital because of this one bag. One grab-and-go bag in military terms. The one bag, the one Hamas bag that you apparently didn't plant there. That bag is the proof that there's this Hamas is just one man. Hamas is one man. And if you zoom in and we get some light over here, what you will be able to see are is military equipment. There is a, an AK-47. Now he'll emphasize AK-47. Just watch. He'll emphasize two things. Uniform and AK-47. I'm going to tell you something interesting about the uniform. Okay? But just remember, uniform and AK-47. That's his proof. 
Of course, they didn't plant it there. I mean, this is Israel. How, how can you suspect? How dare you suspect? How dare you question the idea that Israel would lie? IDF would lie? No, these are, you know, if they give you the, 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 if they say the sky is purple, you have to agree with them because they will give you a video with a, a, a purple sky and you'll say, yes, this is a purple sky now. Look at the video. The, look at the evidence they gave us. So this bag, this grabbing bag is the proof of Hamas having headquarters here. It is the proof that Hamas is actually one person, I think. I think that's what they're trying to say. Because, I mean, wouldn't you find uh, a lot of things? So, And he even makes the mistake of saying, this is perfect, like this is the kit for one person. Why would there be only a perfect kit for one person? You know, if it's the hub of activities, right? Then there would be a whole bunch of random things. He, and, and then, of course, they call out, you know, the movie scripts. What I mean by that is the AK-47s that they always use in the movies for the bad guys always have the AK-47s. And tell me this. Can somebody tell me what is the logic in Hamas wearing a uniform? Can you tell me why would a Hamas person be worried out of all things? Be worried about wearing a uniform. I can understand the other side. IDF needs to wear a uniform. I can understand that. I don't understand why a resistance movement has to wear a uniform. It makes no sense for you to emphasize this, as you'll see in a little bit. No sense at all to emphasize the uniform. Because just because maybe you grabbed some X person's uniform and you planted it there, so you want to emphasize uniform, and you just think the whole world is stupid and will go along with whatever you're saying. Like, your stupidity is in thinking that other people are stupid. Okay, but maybe Hamas is one person. And that's why we don't see the bloods and the bullets and everything. And so, I, I don't know. Okay, so now let's just continue to examine their evidence. Because uh, this is now the second evidence. Okay, and actually they they show one more evidence that they didn't, uh, so, so that'll be like four. Okay. Seven. There are cartridges, ammo, uh, there are grenades in here, of course, uniform. Of course, uniform. Remember this word. Of course, uniform. And all of that, this. And when he repeats himself again, of course, uniform. What does that tell you? What does that tell you? When he repeats the same thing, AK-47, AK of course, uniform. When he repeats that, what does it tell you? Tells you it's a script, a memorized script, and he said exactly what he had memorized because it's not a natural conversation. It's very much scripted. This is not how a person who's talking naturally talks. Okay? If you come after breaching and, like, you know, you've been through war, right? I mean, you had fights and you should be like startled a little bit and you wouldn't be like so, like, like your, your conversation would not be so flowing like as if it's rehearsed no nope, that's not a natural con this is this is rehearsed this is what a rehearsed conversation looks like okay let me just uh you know i would show you the difference between rehearsed and not rehearsed but i think you're intelligent enough to know what is the difference between rehearsed and not rehearsed like this is like a movie rehearsed okay this is not somebody just speaking spontaneously and uh trying to explain things to you because Everything is so organized in his script. He first shows you the camera, then he's going to show you this, then he's going to show you something else, then he's going to show you something else, and it, it is scripted. And that's why when he says uniform, he says, of course uniform. Keep this in mind now, okay? Was hidden very conveniently, secretly behind the MRI machine. On the other side... Okay, so now they hid the, they, they stopped the cameras from seeing because they want to hide their activities. Okay, so now tell me this. If somebody is near the MRI, won't they end up seeing this bag? I mean, couldn't he just like scoot it inside a little bit? But no, it had to be there in the line of vision. They just discovered this. But now keep listening. Found a backpack with what appears to be very important intelligence, including a laptop. And we'll show you that. 
Okay, now here is where he really made a blunder. Let me tell you something about an MRI. MRIs are not, you're not allowed to put electronics near MRIs. Do you know that? And if you do, it's, it, it, there's a very high risk of it getting ruined. Let me share with you an example of that. This is probably the most bizarre issue I've had in my career in the IT. One of the multi-practice facilities is having a new MRI installed, and apparently something went wrong when testing the new machine. We received a call near the end of the day from the campus stating that none of their cell phones worked after testing the MRI. Okay, so what is the issue with the MRI? Okay, the you cannot have uh, uh, MRIs, okay? You cannot have electronics near MRIs. You can read this in Quora, why electronics are not allowed near MRIs. Electronic devices that contain metal components, such as cell phone, laptops, tablets, can particularly be susceptible to interference from MRI magnets. So what is my point here? My point is here is that this laptop that has such vital intelligence information out of all the places the person would put this the out of all the places the Hamas person would put this he would put this near an MRI machine that has the potential to damage this laptop and you will see even later on when he shows the laptop he doesn't even say because he doesn't know that we have to check if this laptop has damage from the MRI machine because he doesn't know he made a mistake big blunder in front of the world because you got that one bag and this laptop machine out of all the places near an MRI machine that laptop the the bag the grab and go bag in in the line of sight not hidden from anywhere anyone so I don't know what they were doing trying to block those cameras but it'll even become more clear in just a little bit so the fool thinks he can fool everyone else. The fool thinks he can fool everyone else. The fool doesn't know that a person, okay, that has a little bit of sense, you know, even though the hospital, of course, should have hundreds of laptops, right? I mean, there's 7,000 people in that hospital, even right now. So this hospital should have hundreds of laptops, but this laptop that they found was near an MRI machine. I don't know how that makes sense. Maybe, you know, I, okay, anyway, let's continue, okay? So. Momentary. We tried to uncover the cameras, but all of the cameras have been obstructed. Now, what's also interesting about this, this particular video that he made, is that he shows everything twice, okay? So he's going to show the video cameras twice. So he showed it the first time, he's going to show it this time again. And then he showed that bag, and then he's going to open up the bag and show that. And then he's talked about the laptop, and now he's going to show the laptop again. Okay, so just keep this in mind. This is an example of perfectly scripted um, process, and it's choreographed, right? Because you'll see between when he showed the bag and when he shows the contents of the bags laid out, the movie has been edited. Okay, and then the uh okay so so this is just to give you an idea that this video has been edited before it's it's not it's not uh it is edited for sure there's no doubt it's been edited and the flow of it is what is like somebody who has rehearsed as you'll see in a second you can see there's black uh, tape covering it and when our troops open this uh, closet here which is in the main part Oh, the clinic. This is okay, so this is the main part of the clinic. Keep this in mind. Okay, I can tell this is, is one of those parts that even a dummy can get that doesn't make sense. Okay, just watch this. And when our troops open this uh, closet here, which is in the main part of the clinic, this which is in the main part of the clinic, when the troops open this and it's in the main part of the clinic, you know why there's no bullets or anything or Hamas or anybody in the main part of the clinic? Because they're not there. But okay, let's just go with what he's saying. 
he just talked about the camera and how they covered the camera. Tell me, can somebody tell me, can somebody tell me what is the purpose of covering the cameras? If in the main part of the building, you're going to put machine guns for everyone to see. Like, make up your mind. You know, your script was not good. It was not even B-grade script. It wasn't even F-grade script. Like, you're showing the cameras, okay, so they covered the cameras so no one could tell about this hub of activities that exists. But then, you're going to show me that in the main place are these machine guns. Can you please tell me where is the logic here? Where is the logic? Okay. Let's continue. This is what they found. The contents of the bag are full. Okay, so now this is obviously edited, right? So now this is the contents of the bag. And keep in mind what I said about the uniform. Because I'm going to show you something really interesting. Military kit for one Hamas terrorist. He knows. He knows. I don't know. I don't know how he can tell. But in that bag was the kit for one Hamas terrorist. How would he know that? Maybe he found this bag? on one person and then he made it into a script because i mean if if i ask you okay if like randomly all these things are laying down would you be able to guess that this is for one person or if you found these contents in a bag would you be able to guess that this is only for one person can you tell me that uh so i mean let's just see a live grenade ammunition fighting vest with insignia Boots and of course uniforms, and last but not least, standard AK-4. Okay, now I want you to notice this part. It's very, very important. Standard AK-4. No, 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 no. Inside, not but that. not least, standard uniforms and vest with insignia. Boots and of course uniforms. See, same word, scripted. Same word, same word. Of course, uniform, and of course, what is the other thing that's scripted? AK-47. AK-47 is scripted. Okay, so that's why he says AK-47. Because it's part of the script. So when he said, whenever, you know, he said, of course, why would he say, of course, uniform twice? I think it's because it's scripted. Because he's not talking like somebody who is sp talking spontaneously. He's talking like somebody who memorized a script. He knew exactly he will say this, then he knew he would say this, and then he knew he would say this, and they had the whole script written down, and he's following the script. Okay, let's continue. Oh, no, I want to show you something really interesting, okay? Now I'm going to show you an interview by the ambassador of Israel, who made, like, why would Hamas wear an, a uniform? Why? Let's look at this question. You know, even even the, the person who is interviewing, the ambassador assumes the they're not going to wear a uniform. And the ambassador doesn't say, no, no, no. Actually, we think they do wear uniforms. Watch. The civilian population who ultimately uh, we did and no, 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 no grudge. Yeah, and I mean, the fact is that Hamas is not wearing a uniform, so when you go into a hospital, which according to the Pentagon, and to you, uh, that is utilized the hospital where they have weapons stored and that there is actually a command and control center underneath that hospital my question is how do you differentiate between the civilians that are in that hospital the doctors the people that have gone there to seek some kind of protection and then hamas that is not wearing a uniform that is possibly among the people so you get the point right so, of course, if they're going to be in a hospital, it's more logical they're not wearing a uniform. Why would Hamas waste its time wearing a uniform? You know, especially at this stage in the fight. And like he said, this is the command and center, and this is the hub of activity, and they have weapons stored, and you saw with your own eyes, with your own two eyes, you saw the amount of weapons that they had there. And of course, this was not planted because if, you know, uh, because Hamas is just one person or maybe two people. Okay, so maybe that's that's what they're not getting, that 
this evidence conclusively shows that Hamas is one person. This evidence conclusively shows Hamas is one, two, or three people. And so, okay, let's continue with this. Now let's look at the final piece of evidence. And last but not least, standard AK-47. Of In course, the ones that they have in movies always with the bad guy and the video games. Inside the hospital, hidden in a secluded area. So many weapons, so many weapons. Now he's going to show you this other thing. Let's have a look at what we found inside the very same cabinet. There's insignia. Okay, tell me this. This one person that's Hamas person, right? He has one bulletproof vest. Like, for all the weapons that are supposed to be there, where are they? I mean, maybe, I don't know. I don't know how you explain that. Shouldn't they have, like, a whole room full of weapons? Like, a whole room full of bulletproof vests? Like, who puts a vest by you know you know in, in a place like this who puts military stuff in a place like this it just boggles my mind how does this even make sense military insignia knife for those of you who read arabic you'll be able to uh, understand what it says here but it's uh, hamas the military wing Kataib al Hassam, of course a vest with equipment and as always an ak-47 and as again that's scripted, AK-47. Standard gear, grab and go. The last item, which I'm sure will be very interesting to uh, analyze, is a laptop. We found it in the MRI room. This is how the laptop looks. I don't know who it belonged to, but now it is being analyzed by our Intel people. Tactical radio communications, which we will analyze. Lots of disks, which will be analyzed. And a computer which at first glance yeah the you know what i forgot to tell you you know what hamas do in their spare time while they're fighting a war they listen to cds they watch the cds on their laptops with all this valuable intelligent inf intelligence information is this a, a laptop with intelligence information or is this person using the cds in his free time like make up your mind because it can't be both either the laptops used for intelligence purposes or for these, all these CDs that the person's carrying while he's fighting a war. I mean, that already provides a lot of incriminating uh, evidence. A lot of incriminating evidence. Okay, that's your lots of incri incriminating evidence, uh, which will go down in history as something very, very interesting. So let me also ask: Where are the tunnels? Where is the Hamas fighters? Where is the rockets? You you found one bag and then surprisingly you found intelligence information yet again. I mean, can you make a worse script? Can you do a worse job than this? So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you are convinced by now that this was a major hub of activity for Hamas that you saw all the tunnels, you saw all the dead bodies, you saw all the hostages, you saw all the weapons, and uh, so many uh, grab-and-go bags, so many uh, weapons, and so much activity. And uh, you can see that when the breach happened, how deadly it was, and uh, the forces had to go through so much uh, trouble to clear out and breach that place. And, uh, you know, so I think that is now clear evidence that definitely this is a hub for Hamas or a hub for the Islamic resistance, whatever you want to call it. You know, I, I can't even imagine somebody could have done a worse job. And now they will create more videos, these false flags. There's going to be so many false flags because when you make cover, when you make a lie, you have to cover it with another lie and then you have to cover that lie with another lie. So you can expect more videos trying to show that how Hamas actually was here. Now, I will let you decide that was this the type of place that should have been bombed and bombed and bombed and bombed like this considering the evidence that they showed. Let's suppose
for a second that even if their evidence is correct, they did find a, a computer with high sensitive information from an intelligence perspective near this MRI machine, and that they did find all these uh, guns, and they did fi find the grab-and-go uh, bag, and, uh, you know, they found evidence, like they covered the cameras, uh, which I don't know how they see that as evidence, but let's suppose, let's suppose they saw all that. Let's say all of this is true. Was this the type of hub and headquarters that deserved the type of bombings that they did? Was what they showed here their ultimate for like the last month they were saying Ashifa hospital Ashifa hospital and the underground bunkers and the tunnels and everything so now what do you think about them shooting on the ambulances and what do you think about them saying we're not targeting civilians do you seriously believe after this that anything that they say can be reliable let me see let me see if the world has a brain or what because it doesn't take a person of very much intelligence to tell that all the evidences that they had there were the type that you can implant there so some of you must be like where's the joke which part was the joke now i tell you the joking part the really funny part okay this is the level of professionalism of the IDF okay he's gonna tell you the list of the people in the hospital from Hamas who are guarding the hostages just watch I mean there's nothing more conclusive than this evidence that I'm about to show you it's a superb the list this list in Arabic in Arabic this list says we are in our operation now, one of the person's name is Juma. You see that? Juma. You see one of the, uh, this also, this person here is also Juma. And then you have Ahad. And, uh, you have all these names. I wonder who, who's named Juma? Who's named Ahad? Okay, so this the is the list of the Hamas. Against people. Israel started in the 7th of October. This is a Okay, you see Yom al Ahad. Oh, sorry, I didn't shouldn't have said that because that gives it away. The person's name is Ahad, and then, okay, and then it continues like that. Yom, you see Sabt. One of them's name is Sabt. You all know Yom al Sabt, Yom al Ahad, right? Uh, and then after Sabt, there's Ahad. But these are not names of days. These are the people's names in Hamas. Just watch. Guardian list where every terrorist writes his name and every terrorist has his own shift guarding the people that were here. The list. This list, in Arabic, in Arabic, this list says, we are in operation. The oper <laughs> we are in operation on these days. Ha, <laughs> okay. But, but you know, these are, this is the list of the Hamas people, right? So, uh, let's see where it went. Uh, subhanallah here okay uh, so let me just show you this so what is this this is the names of the days Yom Sabt is Saturday Yom Ma is Friday okay Yom Al Khamis Thursday okay Yom Al Ahad is Sunday okay like this okay uh, so this is so even basic, basic, basic Arabic person who knows what is Yom Sabt, what is Yom Juma, what is Yom Ahad, right? Even you can tell this is not the name of Hamas. But he says, so what I think happened is that this is the list of the Hamas people who they used, whose names were the same as the days of the week. This is their evidence. Okay, and then they say the Marka Tufan. Okay, this is the, the 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 battle of the flood, you can say, okay, that is going. And then he's saying these are the names of the people. Okay, now look, I want you to notice one last thing. Okay, is that with what face 
and certainty and what level of you can say uh, confidence the lie comes out the list this list in our big in our big this list says we are in our operation the operation against Israel started in the 7th of October this is a guardian list where every terrorist writes his name he writes his name Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and every terrorist has his own shift guarding the people that were here the list this list so that's pretty funny how can you make a mistake like that I mean you can't make a mistake like that you can't you just can't you just cannot you can't make such a silly I mean you know what they say right uh, the ulama they say when you do a crime your intelligence goes down at the moment you're doing your crime it's like Allah takes away aql when you're doing something against something when you're doing something against your fitra your nature and you're doing something against uh, like a crime it's like your body starts to work against you, your brain starts to work against you, your tongue starts to work against you, and it's like it gives everything away that you're lying. You're just so, so deeply lying, but you speak with such confidence, such stupidity and such confidence. And so, wow, you know, uh, I don't think anyone can beat this lie. The type of evidences that they didn't show are the type of evidences you cannot put there, cannot implant it there. So, here we go. Let's wait for the next lie. Okay, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.